Hello, this is Danny Barajas uh, with Sneak Peek, and I'm here with Breck Eisner, um, the director hello, hello. of The Crazies, comes hey. out today. Danny, let's go, man. Nice to meet so you. So, tell me, uh, with The Crazies being a remake, yeah. what were some of the things that you as a director had to adapt to today's audience? You know, obviously, yeah, George Romero made the original in 73, which is a long time ago, probably before you were born, I'm guessing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and um, and so we live in a completely different time now. And it's a movie that most people don't know. I mean, most people know, everybody knows Romero yeah. and kind of the master of the horror genre. So it's intimidating to, to take on one of his movies. And the idea of, of, of doing one of his movies is, is a, an intimidating thing. But for us to make a movie that was that made sense today, it was, you know, want to stay true to his original, but make it, you know, but make it relevant for today and today's audience. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a it's a fast paced you know thriller horror and and it's a movie that has it's a lot of tension and and but it needs to you know yeah a whole, people today want a fast moving adrenaline. That's one thing that I notice is the the crazies actually do move a lot faster. Yeah, <laughs> they they definitely do. Yeah, I mean in the original I don't know if you've seen it, but in the original there's like people slowly sweeping the yeah. grass and you know and there's great and I love the original. Like, you know it's like a great raw concept. But it's just a, you know, it's a different time back then. It was a much smaller budget movie. I think they had like 200 grand. We are not a big movie by Hollywood standards at all, but we had more money than George did. Uh -huh. And uh, working with that, uh, I think you had just under 20 million. Uh, what, what were some of the obstacles that you guys faced? The time. I mean, yeah. everything in movie making is about time. It's like time is your the, the great enemy. It's the great villain of the filmmaker. So you know, you never have any of 10 hours a night or a day. Mostly nights, a lot of nights to get your stuff done. And, if you don't get it done, you're moving on the next day. So you have to figure out how to compress the scene or get it get it finished. So time and it's a movie that's a big scale. There's you know, military quarantines and helicopters and there's you know the, the, the there's town the thousands of town folks in the city on fire and car wash and car chases and and there's a lot of stuff we needed to do that will, in theory requires time and money and we just we had to figure out ways clever ways to get it done. Can help but notice. Did you have one of the original uh, stars? Oh, Lynn Lowry, yes, on the, on the, the bike. Movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah so on we, the bike. There are a couple of nods to the original, like for people who really know the original. Oh. I mean, they have to really know it, and there's not a lot of them. But the people who do, uh, there are a couple nods, and one of them is that Lynn Lowry. Yeah. And I can talk about it because it's in the commercial, but Lynn Lowry on that bike was one of the leads in the original, and we brought her back to, to do a cameo. Uh, do you think that um, the original not being that well known, uh, as far as like today's audience, how does that play? I think it's a benefit to the movie. You know, I wouldn't want to remake a movie that was incredibly well known and, yeah. and one that was like a perfect movie that everybody loves. I mean, there are people who love the crazy and it's a good movie, but it's one that most people don't know and has the, the one key flaw it has is not having enough money to do it, everything that Romero wanted to do. And not that money can solve all issues, it certainly can't, but it's a movie that is a good concept and not one that's been overly seen by the audience. So that, that was why, why I wanted to redo it. Okay. Well, Great. It's awesome. Been a pleasure. Nice Bye. to meet you.